Hey, what is going on guys? ZK here and today, welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Yeah, we're on Forza Motorsport 4 to celebrate 1,000 videos on my channel. Now, I know you guys might see it as 1,002, but to me, on my video manager in my like channel places and stuff like that, it says 1,000 videos. So, we're hopping back on Forza Motorsport 4 because that is where everything began for me on YouTube. This is where... I uploaded my first gaming video with my old Hapa game capture and stuff like that. And um, I actually uploaded before that with my iPod. So that just shows you how far things have came in this short time. It's absolutely unbelievable. And the fact that I wanted to play this game again and I might actually be continuing to do more videos on it because Forza Motorsport 4, in my opinion, is the greatest racing game of all time or the greatest track-based one because it is my most played game ever, if you know what I mean, it's my most hours been put into it, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and play it and I just want to say thank you so much guys for sticking around, if you've been here since the start or if you've just joined, thank you so much for just sticking around and watching my videos because 1000, that is bonkers man, but anyway, you might recognise this car from a certain somewhere, it is Hammond's Mustang Mach 1, which was used on the Argentina Special Part 1. Part 2 is still to come, so I really, really, really like the first one. We're going to be talking about that later. But anyway, we are going to join you on Mugello, guys. One of my favourite tracks for drifting and overall fun. So we're going to see you there. So guys, we are on Mugello right now. And if you notice something different about the mic, that is because I have ditched the Yeti and we've got the Audio Technica hooked up with the pop guard and everything like that so it should be a lot more cleaner and smoother called just a tester hello is it me you're looking for <laughs> that'll sound very very smooth in the headphones but anyway uh hopefully the audio levels are okay in that uh, you can hear me you can hear the car so let me know in the comments below is it okay i'll just rev up the car so you can hear it a little bit sounds <laughs> Sounds nice, that American V8 motor. Oh yes, the V8 motor. But see, this mic, right, you need to be properly facing it all the time. It's not like the Yeti where you can record all round. There is just one, like, right in front of you focus, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, let's go ahead and drift this peach, because, oh my god, Forza Motorsport 4, I'm so glad to be playing it again, guys, because it's just an awesome, awesome game. And as you all know, in my opinion, Forza Motorsport 5 was a bit of a letdown, it was amazing for graphics, right, but in terms of like coming back to play it like the, the repeat factor and stuff, it wasn't the same as this, I mean, you could play this all day long and never get bored of it, because Forza Motorsport 5 it had half the tracks of this, um, and I know it does take a hell of a long time to like recreate the tracks, so I'm not down in turn 10 in any way, I really do appreciate them taking the time, but I would love to see in like Forza Motorsport 6 more tracks, more cars, etc, etc, but that's another topic. A completely different video for another day, which I might be doing soon. But yeah, oh my god, it was God's written. Oh my god, now I've put some upgrades onto this thing, so uh, I think I put street brakes on it, I'm not too sure. I haven't actually got enough money in the game, I only had about 20 grand, so I knew I had a, a Ford Mustang Mach 1, so I put some upgrades on it. So yeah, let's see if we can get it slide a bit more. I mean, Mugello, if you've not seen the Top Gear Perfect Road Trip 2, guys. Um, they come, Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond, they come to Mugello and they race the Stig. Yeah, they race the Stig. Richard is in the Jaguar F-Type R Coupe. Good on you, Richard. Even though he says that he hates it for some reason, he likes it but he hates it at the same time, saying that it's not as beautiful, it's not as, beautiful as everyone thinks it is. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Um, and he says that it sounds like it's broken every time you rev it. It sounds awesome, man! It sounds awesome when he says it sounds artificially tuned. Come on. Come on, Richard. I mean, I like you, man. You're a good guy, but don't diss the F to you, please. And then, Jeremy, he actually shows up in the new M4, which is great. Come on. Come on, old girl. You could do this. You could do this. Hold it. Hold it. Hold up. Do, 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 do. Grass drifting in the Mustang Mach 1. There we go. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Don't know why that came in my head there. But yeah, I love this thing because 
apart from the, the Top Gear Special, the Mark 1 is a very, very, very good version of the Mustang. I think it looks one of the most iconic ones. It looks definitely like that. Um, but yeah, I can see a lot of people doing like a build on Hammond's Mustang. And I wanted to be one of the first to do it. So yeah, I know this technically isn't all of it because it's got a little roof, not a roof scoop, a, a bonnet scoop or a, a air intake at the front, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, on Hammond's one. But this is generally it. It is generally it. So we're going to go into some cockpit view, guys. And the other thing I might be saying to you guys is that I'm actually recording this in 60 FPS, so I don't know if it's going to come through YouTube as 60 FPS or as like a certain thing you need to do to make it like that. The brakes in this thing need major improvement. Holy mother goose. Jesus Christ, we're just riding up the side of the grass here. God damn it, man, now. I just want to say, oh, oh yeah, the other thing I forgot to say to you guys is that I've got a brand new channel logo. Yes, I do, I've done it myself. And um, as you can see, it's got me, little Wolfie. That is actually my custom character from Face Rig, which I'm going to be playing pretty damn soon, guys. Uh, which is a very, very cool game. I don't know what Face Rig is. It's like this um, camera motion software where you get to like, control these characters and stuff. And then uh, one of them is called Danny the Wolf or something like that. But he's basically me. You can make a custom version of Danny, so... It's me! It's me! And then, obviously, I had to include the F-Type and the M4 and it. Oh, yes, I did, so... There's mountains in the background. I think it just sums up me. It does sum up me. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Wait, anyway... Uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to want to see some more drifting footage from Forza Motorsport 4, and I will not be disappointed, because I am going to be back on this game several times, because Horizon 2, I'm not saying it's getting boring, I still love the game to death, but I kind of want to get back into more like track focus games and stuff, because you can only do so much in a free roam game, and I know you can only do so much in a track game, but it feels a lot more fun drifting around a track in my opinion. Oh yes, because you've got to perfect the corners and stuff like that as well, so... Oh, mighty Mustang! Oh yes, yeah, so... If you guys want to see like, not a walkthrough, but like some career races as well, because I might need to get back into the career in Forza Motorsport 4 to get some money, to get more cars and that, so... Yeah, sometimes you've got to go but forwards to... the Fucking mix that one up. Sometimes you've got to go backwards to get a wee bit more forward, if you know what I mean, in like, terms of video progression and stuff, because if you're playing like a modern game and you're getting bored of it, just go back to one that you loved. This is probably my favourite game of all time, seriously. Apart from Grand Theft Auto 5, this is probably my favourite game of all time. And that's, that's saying something, because Horizon 2 is biblical. Absolutely amazing, that game. Same with the crew, but in terms of fun factor and coming back to it and stuff, this just rocks the world. Right, come on, baby, come on. Keep her going, keep her going, kick her up to third. Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh my god, this thing drifts like an absolute peach. I've not said that in a long time, but... She does. Too bad she's only got four gears and goes up to like 135, but it's very good. But anyway, let's go on to another track now, guys. I'm trying to think. Oh, man. I mean, I love the replays. I love the whole photo mode about Forza Motorsport 4 as well. I know um, Forza Motorsport 5 has photo mode as well and replay, but it isn't as good as this because the Forza Motorsport 5, speaking like a YouTuber term here, You've got to actually wait until the little bar goes, if you know what I mean, like, um, when it says, like, change camera and stuff, it, until it becomes, like, a full clear screen, which is kind of annoying if you're trying to make, like, a cool montage, but, <gasps> I forgot about that. Now, here's the thing, some of my Forza Motorsport 4 doesn't work because my, my disc is actually scratched, so I might need to get a new one, so, Silverstone, yeah, just reminding you of the track, guys. Here we go, we've got Bernie's Alps, we've got this one, which I really want to back in Forza Motorsport 6. Um, Catalonia, probably the one that kicked up, probably the one that most people kicked up fuck most about was for Jimmy Kaido not being in Forza Motorsport 5. Hockenheim, one of my favourite tracks, I hope that comes back. Liberian, Indianapolis, Infineon, another one of my faves, we might be going there in a second. Uh, Ladera, Le Mans, Maple Valley. Mazda Gunaseka, Mugello, as I said, Nurburg rings back in Forza Motorsport 5. I can't even fucking say it. FM5 now. That's a good wee track. Road America, Road Atlanta, Sebring, Sedona, Silverstone, Sunset, Suzuka. Yeah, Top Gear, 
and my favourite track on Forza Motorsport 4 to Busca or Sukuba, I can't remember how you pronounce it, but this is just awesome for drifting and we're going to go there in a second guys because I think we're going to do that, let's see, what is the actual cars that I've got right now, these are all my garage cars, so what is this, Alfa Romeo Julia, we've got a Chevy Chevelle, oh yeah, um, I'm trying to think, what would be good for drifting, I'm trying to think, oh hello, hello baby, um, we've got a 240SX, Ferrari, Mercedes, Porsche, yeah, we need to get Porsche back, seriously, because EA is not making a game this year guys, so if FM6 comes out and it doesn't have Porsche, I'm going to be pretty damn disappointed, so what can we go for, I know a lot of people want to see the, the Sylvia, so I don't know, actually, I don't know, because I've done one of them in Horizon 2, I've not done a video on the 240SX for a while, so we're going to go for that. This is one of my favourite drift cars of all time, so we're going to go for it, man. We're going to go for it. So, yeah, tell me in the comments below what other cars do you want me to use in these videos in Forza Motorsport 4. Because I'm going to be doing these ones more frequently and I'm going to be making them drifting focused. Because I've not really brought you a series properly drifting focused in a long time, guys. That is when I started out on YouTube and that is where I want to bring things back up again. Drifting. Now, I know there's quite a lot of people out there that are better than better at drifting than me, but I like to class myself as, I wouldn't say pro, but I would say like up there, if you know what I mean, so I know there's people that can hold drifts for fucking days and stuff, but honestly man, seriously, it's just, I just want to get back into the drifting scene, because closing the title on it, EK Drifter 458, so yeah, anyway, the things that I love most about this game, I've got them written down here, and I'm sure you guys are going to agree. As I said, it's my most played game ever. It's my most played game ever. I put more than, I would say about 200 hours, maybe more than that in this game, which is unbelievable. And also, I love the tracks, I love the cars, the, the DLC of all things I loved. I mean, that was when Forza were bringing in fresh DLC. I'm not saying they're not bringing in fresh DLC now. Storm Island was great, the 650S, etc, etc, etc and stuff like that, but they are bringing cars back over from FM5 and stuff now. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad they're doing that because um, that means they've got more time to work on and make them a lot like future, not futuristic looking, but more next gen, so yeah, it's good and bad at the same time that we're not getting more newish cars, but um, it's good at the same time that we're actually getting old cars from older games, but revamped, so it's good and bad at the same time, so yeah, and also, the overall feel of this game just feels so much better than Forza Motorsport 5. I don't know why, but it just lets you do a lot more things, in my opinion, like custom lobbies when you're going online. It lets you, like, focus on, like, a drifting one, a, drift, a, a drifting lobby, a circuit lobby, anything you want, tag lobby. I know that Forza Motorsport 5 does that as well, kind of. But it doesn't give you as much freedom to like set it up as this one, so... Here comes the best corner ever! I love this one! Drop it out of third gear, break a little bit. That was a wee bit too wide, Frankie boy, a wee bit too wide. Keep her going, keep her going, come on! Yes! Oh man! <sighs> Tabuska, I've missed you so much, or Sukuba. I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying, That is not how you pronounce that track! That is not how you pronounce it! I know it's Sukuba, so... I'm just so used to saying to Scuba, so... Man, this 240. I don't know when I made this, but it's a, it's a gem. <laughs> it's an absolute gem. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Handbrake. Oh, man. This thing's amazing. Because that's the thing. When I was in Forza Motorsport 4, when I was like playing it for the first time and stuff, um, and when I was playing it when it was out properly, I wasn't that great a drifter at that time, but... When I was playing like Horizon and Forza Motorsport 5, that is when I started to properly get into drifting, so... Yeah, I know what I'm doing now! As he says when he goes into the fucking wall. Yeah, awesome timing. Awesome timing, so... I'm sorry if the webcam's still a wee bit darker, guys, because... The freaking... The, my blinds, as you can see here, like my window blinds, they let in so much light, you do not believe, seriously, so... Come on, come on, drift it round. And I'm so happy to be playing this game again. I mean, it's so much more rewarding when you're drifting in this game than in Forza Motorsport 5 because you need to work to drift in this game rather than 
FM5s. Oh look, just tap the brake and you can drift. Granted, it's not as much as E for Speed. But um, yeah, you get the point. This one you had to work a lot more harder for. And I hope they actually do that in FM6 because, man, I mean, drifting, I think it's more like a special thing. You can either just come onto the game and want to race in like cars and stuff, or you need to be focused on your drifting and stuff. You can't just take a five-year-old into the game and make him start drifting like an absolute boss. You need to work for it. That's my opinion. Come on. Oh, I can't span that one out there a bit. Some bitch! Some bitch! Oh shit! Oh god, that went a bit freaking jackknifey there, holy shit. Anyway, back into cockpit view. Come on. Come on, 240. You can do it, baby, you can do it. You can do it if you really want. Oh, another thing I forgot to say, guys, is that if you've not seen the 50k special on uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, then the link will be in the description below and the little annotation will be up after this video. Um, because quite a lot of people loved it, they really really did like it and they wanted to see me play it more. It was just my software for some reason didn't actually record it in widescreen, which is weird, I don't know why it done that. I mean, my software records every other game in freaking widescreen with Five Nights at Freddy's, so... If you wonder what software it is I use for like PC recordings, it's Morellis Action, so... Don't know why I didn't record in freaking widescreen, but... Yes, it was been a bitch. It's been a bitch. Fuck it, bitch. <laughs> oh god, no! That is a little bit of a... A little bit of a bastard, that corner, so... I'm going to properly focus on this lap, guys, and take you around drifting for one last time in the 240. As I said, tell me in the comments below, do you want to see more Forza Motorsport 4 videos? I'll tell you what, I don't think I'll even need to ask you, because I know I'll be putting out more, because this game... Oh my god, I want to go back and do it all over again. Yes, I do, because... If you guys want to see like a walkthrough of it now, granted it's going to be impossible to complete this game because I don't think anyone did because it was that long, but come on! Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm a little bit rusty with Forza Motorsport 4. Oh, yes, I am, so. Yes, let me know because you get like little. Uh, you get little city cars in this one. That is what I hope they bring back in FM6, like the Toyota Igo, the Section C1 and stuff. Them cars are fun as fuck, but for completely different reasons from like supercars and stuff. They're slow, but my god, when you get a big bunch of friends and Why is it want to spin, man? Why is it want to spin? I'm doing the normal thing that I would do. There we go. Power, 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 power. Yes. God, the sound of this engine, man. It's barbarically good. Oh. Go on, 240. My god, man. They break. Corner, which I oversteer quite a lot. Well, not oversteer, but want the grass quite a lot. Yes, there we go. But anyway, guys, I'm going to round it off here today for Forza Motorsport 4 and my 1,000 video. I hope this done good for 1,000 videos. Feels like it done great for it because it basically summed up where I started drifting in Forza Motorsport 4, and I'll be doing that a lot more. I really, really will be. So. Yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy it then please do hit the like button, much appreciated by me, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and as I said before, I'm going to be getting into more older racing games as well, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time, from me and the 240SX, we're out.